I was hooking up with this chick one day. She was on. Wait, 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 wait. I don't know who Chet uh, Hanks is. I think it's Tom Hanks' son. But all I know is that the meme about him is that he wants to be black. So, yeah, that's all I know about this nigga. So, you're going to see. We're probably going to see this nigga trying to be a nigga for real. On the phone with her family in Jamaica, and she was really in the middle of a heated conversation. Tell that pussy clad girl, me know what? I really had no idea what the fuck she was saying. And her friend said, Fill me a picnic in the car with me so I can't chat. I'm like, Wow, wow. So, wait, break that down. So she. I break that, that just, down. <laughs> started, she started breaking down a lot of shit. I'm like, How do you say this? John, no star. How do you say that? Oh, like seven. Oh. Yo! Yo, <clears throat> chat, chill, nigga, chill. It's not that serious. Oh, oh. She was just telling Yo. me how to say different shit. So I got for like a, a week, like I was really on a Jamaican tip, and uh, that just happened Yo. to be the week of the Golden Globes. <laughs> Big up the whole island, massive. It's your boy Chatana coming straight from the Golden Globes. You are saying, big up, tune in. I turned my phone on and the video had gone totally viral. Yeah, that's Chat, you guys. I am shook and frankly, hella confused. Big up the youth, them way out of Kingston. It's just. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> Big up the youth down there in Kingston, son. God damn. And the crazy thing is, the shit sounds smooth as a... F bro, it's not... It sounds smooth than a bitch, bro. You can't... You can't cap and say that shit don't sound smooth, bro. But it, the fact that it's coming from this nigga's face, bro. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Big ups. Big ups. Have you ever been down there? Like... <laughs> Like, why? That's a. I I, it's why. literally why. Uh, appropriation. I had Jamaicans blowing up my Instagram. The respect, General. Re come to the island. You know what I mean? The Jama Jamaican people showed me the most love. <laughs> the the most. Then you got all these social justice warriors in America saying that I'm a fucking villain. How do you feel about the idea of cultural? <laughs> He's upset. He's upset. <laughs> he wants his cake and he wants to eat it too. Like, stop playing with something. Appropriation overall. Uh, I, don't, I don't fucking know, dude. If I'm interested in fucking uh, bullfighting, I can fly to Spain and go watch a bullfight. And if I want to go talk to a matador and <laughs> yeah. say, hey, bro, can you teach me how to fucking fight the bulls? And he's like, hell yeah, bro. Here, put this on. He's stoked that I'm stoked, right? It's Some energy. asshole out there is going gonna, is gonna to say I'm fucked up because I'm culturally appropriating the matador culture. But 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 I'm not even like mad. It's just crazy. It's just crazy because like <clears throat> he's literally just white, bro. Like he's just a white dude. Fuck, hold on, let me see. Oh, wow, what the fuck? Mm. <laughs> oh. But yeah, <clears throat> this is, it's wild because it's like, he is just a white dude just living his life, you feel me? Like, it shouldn't be so much of an upset that he just speaks like, like he got inspired one day and was like, ooh, this shit fire. I would like to talk like y'all. Imitation is the highest form of flattery. Is it not? Is it not? Like though because all these haters they're on the way out dude there's more people that fuck with what the fuck i'm saying than there's people that are angry about what the fuck y'all talking about mm. and that's a motherfucking fact Ooh. big up the whole island damn man just don't do that <laughs> just don't don't even do that <laughs> you just need to practice before you go on like a uh, a stage like that. Big up, um, big up the youth, them? No, don't do that, dude. How did, how did I do it wrong? I don't understand. Big up, say it with passion, bro. Yeah, yeah. Big up the youth, them. Big up <laughs> the youth, them. I think we almost sound like the same. You guys look the same. <laughs> same. <laughs> starting to stress me out. Yo, yo. Yo, is it wrong if I say that, though? Like, come on, bro. I know this nigga's gonna probably be seeing this and be like, oh, but if we said that about a black person, look, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. All right, say it. <laughs> you probably already thought it. Shit, these niggas too. These two niggas look alike. This nigga got curly hair, but this nigga had a shave. Like, come on now. Look at their noses. Stop playing. Breaking news. Breaking news. Canceled. <laughs> Canceled. <laughs> so what was it like for you growing up as a, the son of a prominent celebrity? And it was really kind of like a double-edged sword. People assume, I mean, I just lived this life, like super privileged life. 
like Richie Rich, you know what I mean? And that just wasn't the case. And it, it was actually the opposite. Damn, I got these bitches shook. Damn, yeah. I could read you like a book. They never fucking gave me <laughs> an allowance. I don't know if I'm the brokest rich kid or the richest broke kid. I, I love my, my, my mom and dad a lot but it was kind of inevitable that, that I rebelled because they had me like on a really short leash. They're like really like goody goody square, you know, Boy Scout, Eagle Scout, Scouts Honor type people. You know what I mean? Yeah. And that was never my vibe. For example, like when I got caught smoking weed, right? My mom was out in absolute hysterics. Oh God! You know what I mean? Like it was, it was bad. I got sent. <laughs> it was bad. Like that's how they are, though. I'm not gonna cap. Like the older generation, bro, they treat like weed like it's crack, but they treat crack like it's weed. It's weird. My way to the fucking um, wilderness. Program. How y'all old niggas 17. be doing that oh, backwards? It's four shit. in the morning. The lights flip on. There's two huge dudes in my room. <clears throat> Bodybuilder looking like bouncer types, bald heads. They're like, you're coming with us. We can do this the easy way or the hard way. And they just, you know, put me in the back of a of a car and drove me out to the middle of nowhere. This this was in my junior year of high school. Bro, I gotta I watch return. Castaway, man. You ever feel like you wish you had different parents? Your no, dad made fucking yeah. classics. You Sometimes I just wish that I could have like been. You had a privileged life. Do you think Fuck you would have succeeded it. to the same degree on social media if you were a blank slate? Probably not. That's why I'm saying it has, it has pros and yeah. cons, it has advantages and disadvantages. You know what I mean? P people assume that because like my dad is super famous that like everybody would like want to be my friend and be oh, like, kissing no. my ass. And that just wasn't the case. I I if I walk into a room and someone's like, oh, you know who that is? That's that's Tom Hanks' son. The, the logical reaction is for someone to assume that like I must be like a real cocky, arrogant, spoiled brat, like piece of shit. Like people were inclined to hate my guts. I just really? internalized it and it just developed me to kind of like have a real- <clears throat> Would y'all be like thinking he's a jackass? I only thought he was just a cultural appropriation type of person, but that is because of the shit online. Like if he didn't do that shit online, I probably wouldn't have thought that shit. I probably just think he's a regular white guy, but. Yeah, I don't really think about that shit too much. Really negative chip on my shoulder and uh, be very kind of like defensive, just on edge around like meeting new people. Pussy clot, fuck them Ross. That's <laughs> Robert Big Boss Man Biden. So thinking about this. Yo! <laughs> this nigga's antics though. This nigga's antics is a fucking W. I can't even cap. Earliest memories. I don't know what Robert Big Boss man Biden. So thinking back to your earliest memories in so, uh, life, what is the earliest instance? You he's he's remember? stuck with this so accent. <laughs> super weird, because you were Tom Hanks' son. I was nice with Foursquare. I beat this kid in a game of Foursquare. Man, that was, was my pissed. shit, bro. Yo, remember when niggas used to like bounce it hella high and you had to catch it, but Loki like bounced it back on this square and bounce it out of their square, bruh. Niggas used to be on some shit back in the day, bruh. Bro, we don't ever play like that no more, bro. That shit's sad. You don't see that shit outside. I was looking at kids at recess last time. I was just driving by. These kids was literally, I mean, they walking. They walking on the yard, but they not doing none of these games we used to do. These kids is boring. That I beat him, he was like, you just think you're so fucking cool because your dad's famous. You know what I mean? And I was like, <laughs> no, no, man. man, that had nothing to do with it. You know what I mean? <laughs> I realized then at that moment that like me being. I mean, one person doesn't make the whole like, you know, like who I am, like meant nothing to me, but it meant a lot to other people. What, what was the first way you expressed yourself? Okay, well, I started writing bars, rhymes, raps, whatever you want to call it, when I was uh, 15. Do you remember what your first bars were? First things first, man, we talking about the hearse. I got mad gifts, but this verse about the curse. Or when life stops and the good times cease, D breeze on and dice grandma rest in peace. That was the first verse I ever wrote. So you were coming out the gate pretty hard. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, damn. <laughs> I got these bitches shook. Damn. Yeah. I can read you like a book. Let's get into white boy summer. Bad gal, white dandada. Rude boy, it's a white boy summer. Huh? Boop, boop. Bad gal, white dandada. Rude boy, it's a white boy summer. Huh? What is white boy summer? <laughs> White boy Wait, summer is hard. me. Booyaka, booyaka. 
white boy summer <laughs> is uh, inclusive. And I'm not talking about like Trump, uh, you know, NASCAR type white. I'm talking about, you know, you know, me, um, John B, Jack Harlow. White boy summer is love. Jack it's Harlow. about the white boys that love black queens. It's the white boys that are tuned into the black girl magic. That's really what White Boy Summer is all about. Just shining a light on um, uh, interracial relations. How long have you... Uh... They be paying for everything, bro. These bitches be just, <laughs> just be having fun with these niggas. All right, do your shit. Do your... Have your White Boy Summer. Uh, preferred I don't black fun. queens. <laughs> as long I as I can remember. Yeah, I might make a squirt. Yeah, let me see a nigga twerk. White Boy oh Summer, Black God. Queen Summer. Boom. Black girl magic is a very real thing. What, uh, what is it? Magic. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> magic, nigga. It's in, the, it's in the title, nigga. It's in, come on, stop playing. Magic. Can you describe it with your body language? I'm with you, chat. So how do the words work when you speak? Uh, Chet, you bet your head well, like, I don't know, dude. I don't really know. I just know a little bit. Um, no big up the whole island massive. Jano star. What? Big up the youth them. It's not what you say. It's Bro, how you say it. Why the fuck is that your main go-to? Make the king go up. Up like seven. Up, up, up. Book, book, book. What'd you think about the picture of Adele with the <laughs> Jamaica bra? <laughs> That's what I thought. Adele, Adele, Adele. You know I say me a prayer from long time, sure, Vegas but I have to see a picture of that, mm, it's sweet, man. That was tight. I I'm literally making a conscious effort now to not think or, or give a fuck at all mm -hmm. about what these people are, are possibly saying or talking about. And then that kind of created a Just whole Just put down your beast. phone, nigga. It's like people it's like, be getting a haircut. Like this last week, I'm like getting a haircut. And my barber's like, dude, so, uh, so you're Tom Hanks' son, huh? You really Tom Hanks' son? Tell your dad to come in here. And it's like, yeah, dude, for sure. You actually think I'm gonna tell my dad that? You like, actually that's what, think? That's the kind of shit me and my dad talk about? But but people are so oblivious, dude. They don't even stop to think about how many billions of fuck, millions of times have people told me that? You know what my favorite movie of your dad's is? And I'm like, what? What? You know, like, Forrest, Forrest Gump. Gump. Yeah. Oh shit, that's that's Tom Haynes' son right there. Yeah, look at him. That's him. He tied it up, get his workout on. Forrest Gump. It's a classic. <laughs> on my live. That's great, bro. On my live, Tom Hanks' son right here. So how do you feel about the fact that you just met Tom Hanks' son? Hey, it's cool as fuck. Has he seen it's the cool as fuck. Music video? Yeah. They were. I showed my mom and my dad. They were like, this could be a, this. This is like a Cardi B. Bop. Mm -hmm. you know what, I'm what are your aspirations for your music career? Pop off. I'm trying to be doing shows all fucking summer, dude. Have you uh, written any bars recently that you're hyped about? This nigga is such a us? kid. <laughs> I just, just, uh, like, just listening to all that shit, he just seems like a really impressionable white guy. Um, this nigga, like, he wants to definitely uh, be noticed. He also wants to be uh, accepted. He seems like he wants to be accepted. I'm not even the cat. Just my analysis of this shit, you feel me? Analysis seppy. <clears throat> but yeah. I mean, do your shit, bro. Do your shit, but like, I mean, I can see. I see it. <laughs> it's all right, man. It's all right. Get some freestyle bars. For sure. That'd be good. You're lucky a grown kid, though. Okay, we're chilling on my balcony. I'm doing an interview with you, Andrew. You know what I'm saying? You're that dude. You got a biker hat on. What's that about? Is it for the clout? It say Route 66. I pick up sticks. I might pick up your bitch in a fly ass whip. You know what I mean? I might go do some burpees right outside of my shit. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Cause I'm trying to get a pack out of six. Like mm -hmm. a six pack. I might drink a six pack of Stella mm -hmm. with a bitch named Bella. Mm -hmm. Cause I'm a good fella. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's just off the dumb, it's off the cuff. I just spit the truth, no bluff. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Cause it's a must <laughs> to keep it real. If you're really in the film, like Holy Phil, you already know the deal. You know what I mean? He's trying hard not to laugh. Yo. You know what I mean? This nigga is funny it's as fuck. It's not arguing, it's in Just look at his leg. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. 
I've been a fool. Mm-hmm. Ah! Dude, you know what I mean? I've been that dude and I'm just mm-hmm. trying to keep it <laughs> laid back. You know what I'm saying? Laid back like Pat Sajak. I spun the wheel of fortune. You know what I'm saying? I got a bitch, she's gorgeous. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to make it This nigga is still going. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I'm just chilling on my porch, bitch. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. <laughs> So I'm gonna write it. I just recite it, and every time I recite smoking, it, I ignite it. He be smoking some big dope, man. You can see it in this nigga. You see, you see this shit? Yeah. This nigga be smoking. He be blowing down. He high as fuck right now. You know what I mean? I ignite it. Because it's lit. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And I'm really with the shits. And we don't give two shits. And we don't give two shits. And we about to hit up your bitch. We about to pull up with your bitch. With your bitch. Uh-huh. And two sticks. Okay. Mm-hmm. At the badminton club, finna empty out the clip. Ooh! White boy summer on a broke bitch. Woo! Come on, man. Yeah, One more time. Breaking news. Breaking news. You're watching Channel 5. Cocaine marijuana. Define Illuminati. Uh, an elite cabal of child sex traffickers who control the uh, the global banking system. No. We're at Venice Beach. That's Chet. I'm Andrew. He's doing 100 burpees. I can only do 30, but tomorrow I'm gonna do 40. So give me all of you in exchange for me, for me. Hey, pop that shit up, man. Yeah, come on, man. Oh my God. What the fuck was that? <clears throat> Anyways. Yeah, man, you guys heard it here first, bro. It's that fucking white boy summer energy. It's not. All right, man, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you like and subscribe. Uh, I'll put the links to the original videos below. Um, yeah, man, I would say follow my Instagram, but eh. Uh, I don't know. I got to start uh, putting different like shit on there just besides like the clips and shit. But yeah, but yeah, <laughs> I'm retarded. I'm going to edit that out. Um, yeah, you niggas enjoy. Uh, you niggas have a good day. Kabow!